I'm Lynn Knight. My name is Toby Rudolph. And I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? We are, we are stuck in the middle. I stuck in the middle podcast. It's the shit. That's it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, you're an idiot for not watching it. Welcome to another episode of Stuck in the Middle. Thank my you. good friend Tobias Eric Rudolph and our special needs guest <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Mansour. I'm not the first you've used the that on. sauciest man in rugby league. Welcome. Well, that's Thank good you. To see you. Uh, it's good to see you again, mate. Good it's very good again. to see you. Uh, Dominic see. Toretto in the flesh. Oh, yeah. It's know. good to see you still fast kicking. and furious? Yeah, he's very fast, very furious. I was on the weekend. You were on the weekend. You, yeah. oh, you were making breaks. You were this, that, the other. I'm pretty sore today. AKA, oh, s- sore today. AKA oh, sweet sore. chili sauce, the saucepan. My head's sore sitting next to this bloke. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. So your ears as well. <laughs> yeah. For listeners that don't know, actually, Sauce and I teamed up on the weekend. Mm, played yes. a game for new, the mighty Newtown Jets. Sauce so did his best. Toby tried. How did that go, Tobes? Oh, it wasn't our best game, was it? Run us through it. Um, well, to run you through it, long story short, 44 12? I think it was 46 or 8. Yeah, 44 12, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Personal performances, were you happy with them both? Um, I know he sources the winger, so he thinks he had a good game because he scored two tries. <laughs> It was three tries. Three tries. Three, three tries. Oh, three tries. So that, 12? Yeah. Did we get 12 points? Yeah, we got 12 points. Three po- tries. Had three misses. So three misses. Oh, so out of your 12 points, yeah. you scored all 12 points. I scored Because no one kicked points. the goals. Is yeah. that why you're walking around with your chest up and like shoulders back? No, no. Like, I'm, ignoring I'm, the crowd because you're like, I don't I'm have time for him. I'm humble. Don't have time for that kid. I'm humble. We didn't get a sore from signing autographs. And scoring tries. And uh, like I'm a winger, so you can actually have a good game. Right, I'm all in, about in team 40. performances here, all right? We didn't get the two points. I think the best, the best thing about we being a winger is you can actually have a really good game and then you pretend Listen, if we're, gonna, if we're going to get into this conversation, we could be here all night, okay? I can't do your job, you can't do my job. Let's just like leave it at that. I, I'm more just giving a rap for wingers out there. Like they don't get often their raps. <laughs> I'm just saying, like the best thing about being a winger is you can have a good game and get and the 10 bit beaten by 40. And you can still walk off with your head held high. That's a positive. That's a positive. This, this is not why, this is you, just, so why do you think it's a negative all the time? There's something behind that. There's something behind that. I'm just saying, like it's not genuine. I don't give wingers a rap often, and this is like a really good part about being a winger. You know, I'm just take a fucking you. compliment, bro. Oh, I'll take a compliment. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, look, it's not, you're not a victim. We're not attacking thank you. We're all friends yeah, here. Sorry, right? I'm a bit touchy. I'm a bit sore yeah, today. Look, you, and we, we had a tough loss, didn't we? We did have a tough loss, and we're still biting you down. But you just score a hat trick, so you have I can't wait for review tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun for you guys. We'll probably get flogged. What's the feel like at the Jets at the moment, Source? Oh, no, it's been cool. It's been really good. Yeah, we're flying, yeah? Yeah, we're over top of the table. I think we're coming second, equal first. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. I grew up around the area. You know, Elwood born and bred. and Back to your roots? Yeah, back to my roots. Almost done the full circle, you could say. And it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty proud club. It's got a lot of history and... Yeah, mate. Love we'll to hear it. Well, before we get to the now, let's take it back a little bit. Let's go. Where did the source grow up? Yeah, so I grew up in um, Elwood, um, and then I moved down when I was a kid to Port Campbell. I was living with my grandparents. Um, my parents um, yeah, weren't seeing eye to eye on a few things. And, oh, really? Uh, how, how old were you when that would happen? Oh, I was, I was young. I was probably like four or five, and um, I was living with my grandparents at the time, and then parents made up, uh, moved back to Sydney, I was living, living in Elwood, and... Um, yeah, been pretty much pretty much grew up around Elwood, Marrickville, Newtown area. Brothers, since. brothers and sisters. Yeah, I got two. Uh, you would know that. Um, <laughs> I got two. I got two. I got two, two younger sisters. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. oh I'll just no paint a picture for our audience. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, brothers, can't can't wait till everyone starts stalking that. <laughs> and, uh, no, no <laughs> brothers, just two younger sisters. I was Do you want to drop the uh, Instagram handles or no? We won't be doing that. Please, let's get it. It's good. Change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot. Next. Nah. All right, next. Um, so grow up. You three of you guys out, and so mm. Newtown's a pretty good area to grow up. Would have been a lot of fun growing up there, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up on the streets. I was um, bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a street kid. Uh, oh, you know what? Saying that, no, I was. I was a bit of a street kid. Like I didn't have the best upbringing. Um, Mum still lives in housing commission. I try to get out of there, but she would never leave. Yeah. Um, cheap rent, at least. It is very cheap rent. It's very good. Yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah. cheap rent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, yeah. I, I pretty much hung up with my mates. Still hang. Uh, still see them to this day that I grew up with. And the day oneers. My day oneers. Uh, awesome. The boys at Post Cafe, Ali, Armour. Maka, you know the who legends, you are. They're legends. Yeah, yeah, you've been there a few boys, times. Yeah, good vibes. Um, so yeah, I just I wouldn't say I was the biggest saint as a kid, but uh, I turned I turned out alright. I think little post cafe plug there, great cafe. Yeah. Every <laughs> love those boys, love that cafe. They asked, they asked me. I was there before. I come yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it actually is a great cafe. Probably one of my favourites outside of the eastern suburbs. Post cafe. There, there you boys, go. Yeah, sweet. There you go. But uh, you reckon that you reckon that sort of um, growing up the way you did, you know, gave you that drive to always, you know, keep chasing your dreams, give you that little. Yeah, I think so. Um, see what it's like out there. Yeah, I'll, no, you can say resilience. Yeah, I'm, yeah. 
I don't know, as a kid, I was always competitive. Uh, I always believed in myself. Um, didn't really have the belief coming from, from other people, like if it was coaches or trainers or teachers. So, um, like, I don't know. I, I think I just loved proving people wrong. I didn't have the easiest kind of path into the NRL, but um, the one thing I always had was just to keep believing myself, keep training hard, and um, I always believe that, yeah, you work hard, you put in the work in, you mm. get rewarded for it. Were you a good student that. in school? Ah, listen, I'm not going to say I was a good student. No, I wasn't. Um, you don't have to. I was asking the question. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you know, like I, I, was, I wasn't because – I kind of regret that. I was one of my, my regrets, like not putting my time and effort in, in my schooling because – I was an energetic kid. Um, mm. Probably have ADD. I don't know. I'll yeah, I'd, I'd, do, I'd be um, I'd be voting for that that route. Uh, uh, you're not the mm. first to say that, yeah. but uh, yeah. no, it's to say that I'll put all my eggs in one basket. And I really wanted to make a career out of the NRL, and um, you know, the teachers did tell me like to give it up because I wasn't talented enough. And That's I nice. think that just yeah, it wasn't nice. It's good, it's good um, to be supported, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. isn't it? But I uh, kind of just filled my fire. I guess don't try hard. Don't. Oh, you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. Were you at Newtown Performing Arts? Is that where you went? No. That's a local school, not the Batavia. Nah, nah. Yeah. I went to Holy Spirit College, Lakemba. Okay. So, okay. Um, a little Catholic school in um pretty um, big Muslim society. Community, okay. Nice. Is, doesn't make sense, but yeah. No one bit. <laughs> but you yeah. you would have fit in, though. With like I did fit in, yeah. yeah there yeah. wasn't really that many um, blue eyed, blonde haired students there like yourself. I would have got bashed. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got gay. I would have been yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, I mistreated. Was, it was a really good school. <laughs> um, it was a really, really good school. And um, yeah, everything yeah. worked out. Were you always a winger? Pardon? Were you always a winger? No, I wasn't. No, what, no, what, what I was. Did you be? Um, Is your big, big young thing coming through? Right? Uh, I wasn't really. I was swollen. Pretty. No, I was pretty skinny. I, I reckon I hit a growth spurt when I was eighteen, when I pretty much started on the twenties. Like I really never did that so much about, weight. What, Twelve years after you hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Um, yeah. I'd have been at 12. No, nah, yeah. but... Um, you would have. <laughs> big chest here at eight. <laughs> <laughs> Your son's got like three years left and we don't have a beard. Yeah, I know. He's, He's done four. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to your question. Back to the question. <laughs> Sorry. I um no, I was fullback first, played a bit of fullback, um, no pass or show and go. And uh hence wing, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And nah, then I think it was mid mid um I was, when I first played twenty, my first game, I was actually playing fullback, but I was defending three in, like on mm. the edge. <laughs> playing fullback. Yeah, I don't know, it was weird. So you attack a fullback. Well uh, we had uh, Malcolm Webster who was um kind of a small fella, so we thought him defending at fullback kind of you know. Made more sense getting out of the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big How'd you end up at South Twenties, by the way? So to interrupt the story, but obviously you grew up Very Marrickville, rude. Lacamba, and then mm. so yeah, to it was Canterbury Junior. Yeah. Um, played at St John's Eagles for seven years, and then I played one year at Kingsgrove Colts, and um, yeah, a bit of a reject. Didn't didn't really get a look in at Canterbury or St George, and I just saw like an ad in the paper, and it said it was open tryouts for North City Bears, and oh, back yeah, then yeah, it was a yeah. feeder club for South. Yeah, and I go, what have I got to lose? Might mm. as well go down. Um, so. Dropped in my car with my mum, went down. I get there, there's all groups of kids and groups of boys. And I was like, oh, I'm here with my mum. Yeah, mummy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I ended up playing a couple of trial games that day. And um, Wayne Lampkin, who's the co coach at uh, West Mag, plays at the moment. Um, he told me, there was three games. He told me I didn't have to play the third one. So my head noise was just going um, overdrive. And I was thinking, oh, I'm not good enough. I got cut again. And, mm. and then he named the guys that got picked. I think it was like six, seven blokes. I got the opportunity to preseason and, um, I was the first one picked and, nice. uh, had a pretty good preseason with them, trialed and, um, uh, Mark Hughes, who was the recruitment manager at South, um, gave me the opportunity if I wanted to come down and play twenties. And that's where it all started, man. Did that you, was that. Did you that play build South? No. Um, I did play charity shield, but I never got the opportunity to, and there's reasons for that, but yeah, we can, we can go into those. <coughs> this is a podcast. Yeah. We talk what about kind of, stories. Kind of, open level. Yeah, open um, forum. I'm happy to talk about it. Uh, it's politics. Actually, I feel like it's politics here. There is a bit of yeah, politics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you who's, know, whose daughter did you take? Who's, no, 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 I didn't no, take no. any. Whose son was in the team? There was no sons. Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't okay. it. That, yeah. that wasn't it. Uh, just um, again, I kind of went. I just was a little sneaky finger in the coach's bum one day. Well, I don't. I don't know. I was. I was frustrated because I felt like I deserved debut, but there was other guys. You know, they they in front of me. Um, not not you know, dissing their talent. They were talented blokes, You're but confident in your abilities. Yeah. I was confident in myself, yeah. And I, I thought my you know, I got picked in the junior kangaroos and I got picked in the twenties team of the year, so I thought I you know, that kind of 
at least give me an opportunity to debut the following year. But True or false, you still have those posters of your 20s team of the year above your bed at home. I do not. Okay, well, that's rumours. <laughs> rumours are not true. No, no, let's just stamp them out right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so John Lang and Shane Richardson was, was the CEO. John Lang was a coach, and uh, I found out like, not a few years ago that um, they believed that I wouldn't play a day of first grade. Right, really? Yeah, and... I didn't know at the time they said that, but uh, I decided to go to Penrith to uh, get an opportunity there. And uh, Gus watched me, I think, uh, North Sydney Oval. And I think he got a tip from Freddie, I'm pretty mm. sure, to have a look at me. And I went to have a meeting with Gus and he signed me on the spot. Oh. So quick fast forward. It must be, Obviously, you were sort of discarded a few times, a few mm. clubs, you know, juniors and stuff. It must yeah. feel nice to come forward, hear those things and go, how many games did you end up playing? 200 and... <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. You know how many honest. games you played, though? How many games did you end up playing? 256? No, I wish that high. I wish that high. No, I had a few injuries in my career. Which it was over 200, wasn't it, though? No, nah, just under. Just, just under, under. Just under. Just but, um, mate, that's outstanding, but like to Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Origin, to go against Australia. Origin, Australia. Mm. To pretty, go against... Pretty outstanding the career, mate. Thanks, Honestly, boys. big fan. I've always been a big fan of your source. And I know you might be... Blah, 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 and I had a stroke again. Mm -hmm. A bit about your story from, like, you know, younger years and the unconventional way to find a first grade. But like, after all that kind of shit that went on, you had a really good career, mate. Thanks, brother. Is it true that you taught Brian Toto everything he knows? <laughs> They're, nah. the the They're the rumors. They're the rumors. No, 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 no. You're yeah. happy to leave Penrith because you said, you know what? I've given him all the tools out of me kit. I'm happy to leave this with you. No, not at all. Not at all. When Brian first hit the scene, like, he was always a talented kid kid and man he's just a power machine he's just yeah, so yeah, strong yeah. it was it was fun tackling my training I can imagine. Way. Yeah. <laughs> fun tackling well, on the guy. field yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's fun doing how that. often did you have the dartboard up with charlie stains in the backyard no. <laughs> <laughs> once twice nah. you oh, oh, that day. for like at least a couple of months uh, i felt sorry for him man far out <laughs> i feel like i, I what, did for darting his eyes every single sunday yeah. Yeah. Sorry hit for a him. little <laughs> nah, 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 not prank, at all. Not at all. His, prank on his not, mom a, not at all, man. I wasn't that at all. It's um, nah, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for making it awkward, mate. No, you're welcome. Can, can yeah. I ask a question if you don't? If you guys don't mind, mate, the floor's yours. Can I ask whose anyway, idea? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just ask whose idea was it for these shirts? Isn't it a good to have sauce on the podcast? You know what? I just want to thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> we um, make it um, all the way out from where you're living now currently. I'm living in Bexley for if in Bexley. Yeah. Bexley. Yeah. I don't yeah. think my exact address. No, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to land you, but like yeah. we just want to really thank you for taking time yeah. out of your day to come yeah, and awesome. um, come sit with us on this podcast. Do you live with your sisters yeah. as well? Your shirt looks like a foreskin peeled back. <laughs> 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 oh, I just right, have to get that out. That's the only foreskin on my skin, mate. <laughs> on my body. Thank that's, goodness. It's true. I've seen it. Actually, but, uh, <laughs> that's well said. That was really well said. Actually, personal question: Helmet or foreskin? I can't remember. What's that? Helmet or foreskin? Just for the, the viewers out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm not going to say it. You're not going to say really? it. Really? A bit of mystery. A bit of mystery. A bit of mystery. I'm married. You know what I mean? I'm married. Actually, a bit of respect for my wife. Yeah. Well, that's you're better. about to say something. <laughs> no, I, was, I, was, I don't know. <laughs> one thing I want everyone to know about. Our dear guest here is his insane foot fetish. Oh. He like oh. no like oh. not, foot, not foot fetish. Okay, high no high standards for feet. Oh. Oh. He looks at feet first before he looks in your eyes. Do you like white nail polish? I'd love no white nail polish. He would judge yeah, you. You could be the best bloke. You could be the best bloke <laughs> you'll ever meet. But if you have if you have nasty feet, I don't think. I'm just gonna you. say this like that's really irking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think they're here, baby girl? I don't think um, I don't think mine are much better. <laughs> but you know what, mine aren't mine aren't that much better either. Like well, I've, got I've got shockers. Yeah, hip yeah, hip playing footy, standards. Playing footy in a, yeah, in a, look, in a footy boot for so long. Double standards. There is a bit of double standards. I don't know. You know what? I don't know where it stemmed from. Want to give this massage a callus right here for me? Look at that. He's a standing life. Get a sour, a sour worm in his mouth. <laughs> kind of looks like your head a little bit. A little bit, a little yeah, bit. So like gross. a big callus. So mm. gross. A callus chin. Thanks for bringing that up, by the way. I actually forgot. I don't know. Yeah, how you no, I know that. these things about you. You know, I take the time to oh, remember. A little, little bit careful what I say around you. Well, you know what? Speaking of, um, oh god. Since we're <laughs> we're going into it now, uh, let's just I've take got a little mystery. break from the intro. We'll just go into this little part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a mystery guest that's uh, sent us a question. He will remain unnamed. He or she oh, will God. remain unnamed. It's actually not that good. I want to lie. A it's definitely who? It's a he, yeah. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> can't spell. So just been told to ask you about the uh, the time you walked off field and fitness because you were too tired. I know who exactly who this is. <laughs> <laughs> Pure <Pirouette> Galazzi. <Galatsy. laughs> I don't know who oh, that is. Oh, that was. Is that true, true, false? Snitch. Any Any sort of. Um, Anything to say? Uh, I was coming down from the flu and I was pretty sick and I was coming off Coming injury. down from the flu or coming down with the flu? Coming down with the flu, sorry. Okay. And uh, I was a bit sick that day. It was pretty hot out in Penrith and um, yeah, I did walk off because I was tired. So like you were just like, 
was was there sort of get back here? What are you doing? Or was it just walk oh, off and nah, sad? nah, oh, yeah, it was a subtle walk off, and I got yeah, the boys sledged me for it, but okay. yeah, so well, that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it is true. That is true. That's true. And it was the only time I ever done it, so. Uh, I don't know, no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. I was struggling, trust me. I was, I was in a world of hurt. Fuck. All right, so this next one, um, Did we go to doctors you obviously know who it is now. So what your punctuality, punctuality was like. <laughs> punctuality, <laughs> starting yeah, again. Well done. Well done. What was your punctuality like when you used to meet him for carpooling? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. So, so this is, he, uh, I've got a real issue with time. I'm gonna. I admit it. I admit it. As, I as I go on, he lived five minutes away, and I was thirty minutes. Every day, he would turn up twenty minutes late and blame the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. That is true. What that is true. Uh, showering. I don't know like, what it is. I don't. I, I, don't I think know. I know what it is because I think I have the same problem as you. Right? Do you really? I think it's like. Oh, I've got heaps of time. Yeah. You, just, you just think you've got all this time. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'll be able to get ready in five minutes. But yes. then you realise it yes. actually takes longer than five minutes to do this and to do that and to pack your bag and to, yeah. I'll get sidetracked very easily as well. So well, while I'm getting ready, I'll get sidetracked with something. I don't know. And yeah. Then okay, it kind of yeah, just ruins yeah. my time. And then, oh God, look at the time. And anyway, yeah. You're, yeah. Time management. Time but management. saying that, Lat Latsy, Latsy's just a bit anal when it comes to time. Like if you're not on time, he just goes, his wires get all crossed over and he goes. Well, 20 minutes late. I mean, that was sort of a bit of GST. That's a bit of GST. Bit of G okay. A bit of GST. 20 minutes every day. Like uh, all you such learn GST. a routine to get actually, there. Actually, I was actually late to train when I found I was debuting. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, but I wasn't, listen. All right, let me, let me tell you this story. <laughs> listen. Okay. Right, I'm story, driving, like stories. I was driving, to, like I, I didn't move to Penrith um, for, I don't know, until I was like my seventh season there. there we go. So I was driving up the M5, M7, M4, anyway, a bit of a trek, whatever. Why is that? But Penn is such a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place, but so uh, I just love, I don't know, being wog. I'm very, mm -hmm. um, you know, tight with my family, my mm -hmm. friends, and it's all, you know, it's one of my you core want, values, I guess. Stay in the comfort zone. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for interrupting me again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he does that. He does that. <laughs> Pop my tie on the highway. Anyway, I called <laughs> Ivan up, and I'm like stressing. You know what it's like. You have to call the coach up and tell him you're running late, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm fine. sweating bullets and I told him I popped my tire. Anyway, he goes, how long are you going to be? I'm like, oh, probably 20 minutes late. <laughs> 20 minutes. There anyway, <laughs> then no um, got back on the road and he calls me back. He goes, oh, how far are you? I'm like, oh, I'm still running at the same time. And he goes, oh, I'm just going to tell you right now, mate, you're debuting this week. And he's hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> and hung up on you. <laughs> like, oh, I, I didn't know what to do. I was in absolute yeah, shock. Okay. I was like, <laughs> scream. Oh, that 20 minutes, I called my mom, called my girlfriend, at the time my wife now. Yeah. Um, waiting for a tire. Uh, bit, like, calling everyone how excited you are. Yeah, still waiting for and the then tire I got, to be sorted. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and then I uh, get to training and then everyone was in the video room and the whole room erupted. But I walked in and I was. That's the, mad. It was the That's maddest mad. feeling ever. Yeah. It was like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. It was that mad. It was awesome. It was well, awesome. Um, How old? Uh, 21. No, 21. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was there, I took it. It, is not. it was there, it was there. Um, the question that this mystery guest has also sent in, um, funnily enough, is how many flat tyres did you get when you would drive on your own? Uh, he would call Ivan and say he had another flat. Wasn't possible to get that many flat tyres, it was just you running 30 well, there, was there, was of, there was a lot of road works. Repeat there was, offender. There was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. But there was a lot of road doing? works. There was a lot of road works on the highway. You so drift, you're drifting in the middle of the night. Man, listen, I'm, man, it was no GST, it was all truth. It was how all truth. Talking? How many are you talking? I think three. Oh, you I've think I want to change the tire on the highway? You know how dangerous that is. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, so I was fearing for my to... life every yeah, time yeah. I change the tire. You got silly trainers coming past your head. You don't have yeah. to yell at me. I'm just here, okay? Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not the no, one putting the tire. I'm a bit aggressive. It's scary doing that, and it brought out the fear, and I saw that, and I hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. There's um, <laughs> there's, there's more questions rolling through from this mystery guest. Oh, um, he's not a mystery guest anymore. I don't know who it is. I don't know who you're talking about. This one, we can, okay, we can cut this out, but <laughs> it says off air, ask him this, but I'm going to ask you on air. <laughs> off air, ask him about 2014 Mad Monday at Meriden Zetland. <laughs> that is definitely off air. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go into right. that. All, all right, all right. Oh. We'll do a live video later with all the details. I almost um, died, but anyway, we won't go into it. All right, last one. <laughs> ask him why he used to mess up my bed on game day and how I corked him before the game. All right, so this mystery guest, <coughs> Jeremy Lattimore, um, he was my roommate, right? <laughs> anyway, he had this thing. He always had to back his bed before on game day. He just, I don't know, he's, he's, yeah. he's a loony. Anyway, and uh, one he's day I, got, I just decided I wanted to wreck his bed. Yeah. He dead set wanted to fight me. Uh, dead set wanted, it gave me oh, a you full, were saying the anal sort of, yeah, yeah he likes yeah, anal and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And <laughs> 
sits on his thumb. But yeah. anyway. <laughs> we're getting deep here. Love, Sorry, love, okay. Loves marbles. No, no. Anyway, you know, yeah, we pretty much almost had a fight before the game, and he dead legged me. And, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So he was just angry. He just don't mess, mess up my bed. Because I messed up his bed. He was before the game or like before on, the game on game day. Before the game, I just jumped on his bed. That's all it was. But just it was, jumped. Was he going back to sleep? Was he napping? Nothing. Like, nothing. Was, nothing. Well, you just had like to like make the bed. You just had to make the bed. Superstitious it's a bit ritual. Of a, very superstitious. Oh, you ever have any other teammates with some weird superstitions or rituals or anything? Or yourself? What about yourself? Well, I said no. I'm not really a superstitious person. No, I don't think I am. Do you think I am? I don't, I don't think I am. No, I don't think you are. I've seen some weird ones. Uh, Trent Merrin had one. From like he day was. One to day two. I am a bit yeah. tapped. Yeah, I am. Just bouncing off the walls. Trent Merrin just like gets a footy and just like walks around in the sheds and just like just heads his head, just, like smacks his head like. Uh, uh, that with the footy, that probably needs with the footy. Be, okay, so it's a bit, bit strange. That sounds like <laughs> yeah. that, could, that could probably be addressed through therapy. I think. Yeah, I, I think so. Know. I think so. <laughs> what Mez, about you, Mez, If you're listening, hope you got what that sorted. Anyone the sharks with some weird, like any superstitions or anything? Well, Moisa has Moisa. He has no hair. Nico has to um, wet his hair before every game. Just so he looks beautiful. Just so he looks beautiful, which so is gorgeous. fair enough. If you look beautiful, you may as yeah. well do that. <laughs> um, unfortunately, wet hair doesn't fix straight teeth. But anyway, I remember. Um, I remember. I figured out one time that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I mean, Whoa! Yeah, you know, Cody. Uh, Cody always has to be the second one on the field behind the captain. So is like, that your position, but yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, whatever it was, like, and I figured it out one time, and then like he didn't know. I like we didn't talk about it, but like, I, was, <laughs> I was just like sort of walking behind like, like someone, and then he pushed me out of the way to go in front. I was like, oh, I remember that. So like one game, I I, I made a really effort to stay in front of him, and then he like really pushed me really hard, and he got so angry before we walked on the field. He's angry in general. Yeah. So me, me and Cookie always just go like. Oh, look. And we just try and walk in front of him and he'd like walk fast on the way in the field. It was the best little game that he didn't able to play. Did you play with Zane to Devado when you were um uh, I never played at the Roosters. I was there for about forty five minutes before I got set. <laughs> but I, I was there with That's him. That's a no. I was yeah, there yeah, I was yeah. there with him, yeah. Was oh yeah, no, he's he's a good fella. He um he done some weird stuff. He used to get like Vicks and like rub it into his eyes and shit. <laughs> oh my god, those guys are free. Yeah. The last question from the mystery guest. That's Jeremy Lattimore. It's not very mysterious. Yeah. Uh, is a lot of questions. I know. He, he, mate, this is like all in like five minutes. He's just he's bang, gonna, bang, he, bang. He's gonna ask what happened uh, in Vegas. Okay. Well, no, he didn't. Do it. <laughs> oh, Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you the first man to ever have a newborn with sleep de sleep deprivation? <laughs> the newborn had it, or you had it? I'm, I was confused about that detail. Uh, you, you're the one that's asking the questions. I am, but I'm asking questions about a question now. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what he, um, what's what he, uh, You know what? Don't worry about it. Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what are you in Vegas? Uh, no, no, I had probably the best bucks ever. We um, uh, we ended up going to Vegas. Thirteen boys. It was awesome. Okay. Um, top level penthouse with Cosmopolitan. No like, way. It was the best ever. Honestly, yeah, I was I there bet. for. Four or five days. I was meant to be there for a week, but um, cried, Gus man. decided to uh, put our end of year prom, uh, season preso oh, no. in the middle of it. So no. I was smart. only there for four or five days, which was plenty. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I bet. But, How many uh, times did you cry over there? Uh, I didn't cry, but um, I f yeah. I was lost your mind? A lot, yeah, I lost my mind. I yeah. oh, passed, absolutely passed out. Too much oh. to do So I was at Brett Republic. We probably have you heard of Red Republic? It's like a day club. been to Vegas, I've man. No, anyway, I was, um, yeah, I was, it's day four. I was like running on four hours sleep and I was drinking everything. I was champagne, those Slurpees, I was, uh, everything Everything I was drinking. Um, even chipped my tooth trying to um, scull a champagne bottle, which was fun. Well done. And um, <laughs> That's hard to do. Out, out, of, out of nowhere, I just felt like the weight of the world on my shoulders and I just couldn't get up, couldn't stand up. I was sitting down and I had everyone around me like I was dying. Mm. Um, Mitch Moses was there with Nathan Brown and um, Nathan Brown thought he was a paramedic and did nothing to help my cause. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, I ended up getting carried all the way back to the hotel and I like woke up like, 12 hours later, 14 hours, I have no recollection what, what happened. <laughs> Good I sleep. Left, I left my guts out all on the floor on the, uh, on the Vegas Boulevard, the main strip there. People just walking past me. Can't handle Vegas. <laughs> losers. Get out of here. Anyway, I don't recall any of it. And then yeah. um, the next day, I ended up having to board a flight back to um, back to Sydney, which was fun as well. So Yeah, right. And then I woke up with uh, three hours to go and uh, the, the flight's going to, to Melbourne. Not oh, to Sydney. Oh, no. So where, where, where did you go the wrong What happened? Well, apparently someone had a medical episode on the plane and oh, we got okay. diverted to Melbourne. Flight, though. Yeah, yeah. But we will come him down back for the for the pre prezzo. So yeah, I had to make sure I had to go I had to get back there and got to Melbourne running around, got a flight back, got got back to Sydney around three four three thirty, four o'clock. And I just got to Prezzo at like six o'clock out in Penrith. Jesus. And you should see this photo of me. I, I'm in a, I'm one, one hell of a state. I I'm surprised. You slept about 24 hours in like 36. But I look, I look like that. If you want to see it, you want to see it? Yeah, go on, then get it yeah, up. Yeah, but, there we go. Easy enough. <laughs> oh, wow. I was hurting. 
Who's that? Team also. That's my beautiful wife. Oh, okay. I forgot how she, yeah, she does look really good there. So. <laughs> oh, I was hurting. I was hurting. Open your eyes. I was dying. <laughs> Open your eyes. Any clear eyes? I was going to go to New York for two days as well, but um, Jenko, Michael Jennings. You thought you were asleep in that photo. Uh, I pretty open. much was. Yeah. Um, he ended up going to New York and um, was um, having I'm a few drinks. Yeah. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish all about the same? So, yeah. Anyway, and he ended up uh, having a few drinks with Scarlett Johansson, which I was uh, very jealous about. But Michael Jennings did? Mm, wow. New York, unbelievable. He went by himself. I was meant to go with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was just sitting at the bar by himself and having a few drinks. Met this guy, found out it was Aussie, was frothing over him. Americans love Aussies for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Because we're cool and fun and yeah, have good chat. Exactly. They don't. Yeah, and they exactly. Sorry, go yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah. And for Americans listening. And uh, <laughs> yeah. he goes, well, why did he come meet my crew? And then the first person he met was, was Scarlett Johansson. Did it go any further? Do you know? Or? Uh, um, no, not really. I don't think it did. But he was hanging out with him the whole night, which That's was pretty mad. cool. Went, went bar, bar hopping with him, and that was. You could cool. really stretch that story. No one could really fact, fact check you at all. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just maybe really, spice I, things I up. Should like, have, I should have. I should have. We held hands for like two hours. I'm an honest uh, guy. I'm got really guy. deep into conversation. Even like sharing drink, I count that as kissing. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I actually, she I, spat in my drink. Yeah, yeah. I asked her to. She did it, and I drank it. We pretty much hooked up. Same. I should have had a GST to it. That's oh, all right. Yeah, that's that's an opportunity, yeah. miss. Yeah, I, got, um, I got a question that uh, sort of speaks to your character, I feel. Mm. This is actually a serious, nice question about you, so don't, oh, don't, don't feel out. attacked. I know. Okay. No personal I attack. I, I feel attacked <laughs> once. <laughs> you um, got that to I remember seeing this thing, I don't know if it was on the footy show years ago or what it was, but um, Gus Gould spoke about <laughs> you at contract time. You were the easiest person to sign. So apparently, I don't know, this, this might be rumour, I don't know, but. Apparently, he'd go to you, oh yeah, your contract's up, and you would just, you wouldn't even meet with him. You'd just say, mate, just give me what you can. I, want, I love this club. I want to stay here. Just give yeah. me what you can. Is that true? So, for, you were there for how long? 10 seasons? Nine seasons. Nine yeah. seasons. Is that true? Is that, yeah. That's yeah. how it went. Um, I was coming off a pretty good year, and uh, they didn't have enough money for me. Um, Gus was pretty much telling me, like, to leave the club. And uh, I, I remember having the conversation with him in, in the stadium, um, just in the player dugout, and it was just me and him. And, he was pretty open. He goes, man, like you'd be stupid to, to stay. Like the money you can get in the open market. And mm -hmm. there was a club that was knocking at the time. And I had, I had a contract there sitting for me, but I just loved the club so much, man. And I was so passionate about playing for Penrith. And I'm a pretty loyal person. Like if you believe in me and, and have faith in me, I'll do whatever I can to repay that faith. And mm -hmm. Penrith were the first club to kind of believe in me, you know what I mean? And um, I wanted to stay at all costs. And yeah, I took unders to stay, but I didn't want to be anywhere else, man. I made so many mates there. Um, I loved my co the coaching staff. Ivan was there as well, and and Gus. And man, I was I was pretty adamant. I wanted to stay. And yeah. He goes, I'll do my best for you, man. And we, we had a pretty. It was a pretty emotional chat. You know, he got pretty teary. I got teary. And yeah, well. Um, if you bumper bag is changed, no good. <laughs> a couple, a couple free cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I wish. Was old. I wish. I, I, I wish. Gus can be a very resourceful man. Oh, he if is. You, if you're he on is. his good side, he can get you whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah. A good <laughs> no, he's a good friend to have. Um, I know. I know. Looking back, obviously, you know, you made a decision based on loyalty and where you were at. And I know how rugby league is a small window. Yep. And now you're at the end of your sort of rugby league um, career. Mm. Um, I'm not saying you regret moments just based on money, but like if anything you would have done differently, like do you reckon you regret any moments in your career? Is that one of them? Definitely don't regret that at all. Yeah. No, not at all. Um, I, yeah, money's money's great and everything, but like I've been, I've been living my dream, man. Like I, mm. I've dreamt, like the, like I said back in school, I dreamt of playing. I really dreamt it, man. Like I lived and breathed it. Like I had posters up on the wall. I, like I stepped with the footy. All I thought about was playing footy and playing in the NRL. And like back then, I, I didn't know what manifestation was like like, like I do now. And I truly, but like I don't know, it's a bit quirky when people say, "Oh, I manifested it." it blah, blah, blah. It's yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, but yeah. what what I believe what I what I believe it means it means like everything. If you truly believe in something, that all your decisions behind it direct you to that kind of goal. Yeah. Okay. If that makes sense. So yeah. like. Everything I did, you know, I had to make a few sacrifices. I didn't go out partying and drinking with my mates at a, you know, when we first turned 18. Like I was just, <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I knew what I wanted. I did whatever I can and could to make that dream happen and it paid off. Nice. Liam, I want to ask you a question, actually. Sorry to get a bit inspiration. No, I love that. I love that. No, a lot <laughs> really of my guests cool. actually speak about manifestation. A lot of yeah. them do. <clears throat> Should yeah. be called the Manifestation Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Ma like, literally, main... Heaps of my guests. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, Toby totally mm. hates it. But I can't we're going to turn it, yeah. him around. We're yeah. going to figure it out. Well, maybe it's manifest that I like manifestation. Or it'll manifest maybe itself. Maybe you can manifest and manifestation is real. You could just <laughs> no, no, I want you guys to do it to me. Yeah, but it doesn't work. you got to do it yourself. Yeah. We can't manifest it. We you can't do it for your you. Own, oh, really? Your own no, brain have to you have like to imagine it. and you, can't, you guys can try? Like well, all right, I'll put it this way. Is there anything that you want to do? Is there any goals you have in mind or anything? Man, you could... 
if I was to tell you that I, I want to be a millionaire in, or t I want to have $10 million in the bank account, yeah. um, you know, I don't know, next year. Uh -huh. You look at me like you're dreaming, right? Uh, oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if, if you truly believe it, it could it can happen. Yeah, okay. Jim Carrey tells a story, right? Oh, I know that story. Yeah, you know, I know that story. Like, like, oh, this day, he, he wrote himself a check for $10 million at this certain date. He's going to have it. And then it's obviously, it's a bit woo-woo, but like yeah. you yeah. Put, yourself, put something out there in the universe. You tell yourself it's going to happen. You work that hard, like Josh Saul says, like your, your point of direction. Yeah. You work hard, you work behind the scenes, and it happens, and then all of a sudden it happens. It doesn't happen all the time, but you just keep going for that. Yeah. You keep aiming for something, you're putting it out into the universe, and you yeah. keep chasing but it. But it will happen. I just, it will happen. I if just you think, don't quit, it, like, yeah. you know. I just think that, like, for me personally, manifestation and hard work are very similar. But I just see it as hard work, and you guys see it. No, I, I, I'm the same, same as you. Like, you, 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 know can't just, you can't just think of something and just think it's just going to happen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Like, manifest, where's it going to come? Yeah, no, yeah. you can't. Like, it, it just, you just have just to- Just work hard. Work, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It, a lot of it is working hard. And yeah. why do you work hard? What because I do? want this thing, but I don't, I'm not like manifesting this thing. I guess like, I guess I am, aren't I? Yeah, like, unwilling. Un, un, <laughs> you know? I want it, but like, I work what hard drive, What it. drives you to work so hard? Like, what do you want? It, You're working uh, towards something, yeah? Yeah, sure. What is it? Uh, and without that thing, you wouldn't work as hard. There's something that drives you towards that, and it's, I'm not saying you manifest or whatever. It's no, just, I guess that thing is just—it's like, just, it's just it's really well hard, said. my hard work. I guess it's just—it's just my work ethic. Yeah. Uh, where that come from? I don't know. I didn't manifest it. it it's just happening. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, you yes. spoke before about a decision in regards to money and regret. Did you only ask that because you massively regret not going to the Titans for overs? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard this story. I didn't. I didn't ask it for that. No, I didn't ask it to be turned around back on me. I remember seeing you doing a tour at Penrith at one one stage. I thought Did you, you were signing. Yeah, no, that was before I went to South. Yeah, oh. yeah. So like, I had the weirdest journey to get to South. I was at Canberra. I had a year left. I was like, look, I need, I miss home. I miss Sydney. I miss the beach. Jeez, really you and George Mantle here. Yeah. Jeez. I know. Anyway, you you asked, and I, I went yeah. went for a tour on um, Penrith, <laughs> and um, I thought I signed, still delivered. And the next minute, I was at um, South. South. Yeah. Oh. Fair but enough. no, I don't regret not going to the Titans. I did for a little bit. Sure. Yeah, I did for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. A lot of money. A lot of money on the table. Um, mm -hmm. Money doesn't buy happiness. It doesn't. I'm happy with who I am. Like you know, it's always the road I've travelled. Ooh. Yeah. Look. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm obviously yeah, a couple Excuse of injuries me. and whatever. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not ideal, but. Nah. You know, I'm happy I love with you. I'm, the, the, people, the people I've met and the experience I've had staying where I stood. And um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade that for much. A lot of experience, a lot of knowledge, a lot of, yeah. lot of pain, a lot of um, joy. Rugby league roller coaster. That's, that's a roller coaster of life. It is. It is indeed. You only get one. You know, make, We're getting you real deep. Your We're getting so you gotta deep. stick with your choices. Really yeah. Yeah. Manifestation podcast. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> if you <laughs> that come out so wrong, oh, <laughs> didn't it? So deep. <laughs> anyway, um, Mr. Source. So. As Liam said, sort of touching earlier, the rugby league journey is sort of coming to an end, and yep. you've um, you used your time wisely. You've uh, got a few businesses or a business outside of the game now. Yeah, very resourceful man. Very yeah, resourceful try man. To be, try to be. Sweet, 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 sweet I try to be. I think that's a regret. I think I'm not capitalising uh, on a few opportunities early in my career. What were um, they? Or if it's business, or if it's just being proactive and like you know. Um, going out there and learning something, you know, for example, if it's just going to get a business degree or just, you know, like right now I'm doing an S&C course and I kind of regret not doing that a bit earlier in my career. Um, kind of left it a bit late. But you also told me about the opportunity you had in the Netherlands in off-season one time, like a six-week stripping tour. Do you remember that? What was that? You had the opportunity in off-season to go six weeks through the Netherlands on a strip a strip show tour. That's, uh, that, uh, that's, that's news to me. Oh, you told me that one time. Did on, I? On a big night out, yeah. Yeah, nice. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That'd be pretty fun if I was single, but anyway. Yeah. Um, you really trying to get me in trouble today? No, no. I'm joking, joking, Daniel. I'm just trying to throw some shit. That was a joke? Yeah, yeah it was a joke. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do this. Uh, business. I need, I need you in my corner more often. I'm here. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, sense of humor of a cactus, so I don't really care. Yeah, so the beginning of this year was a bit tough. Um, you know, coming back from the World Cup, which was awesome. Um, I, you know, I thought I would have found a club um, when I came back, but wasn't didn't come to fruition, and it was, it was quite frustrating at the time because I still feel like I had a lot to give in the NRL, and I, again, I got back to the still believing in myself, and unfortunately that wasn't the case. Uh, but I was lucky enough to obviously pick up a gig at Newtown, which was awesome. But heaps of cash. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah doing it, doing yeah. it for the love, obviously, yeah. and, <laughs> uh, and, and the, the paper bags. Yeah, 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 <laughs> which, yeah. um, and then I had a pretty bad like business fallout, and. Um, like that, that kind of hurt the most because that was kind of my backup plan in my insurance policy. Yeah, footy sure. didn't work out. Right. 
Um, so anyway, that didn't work out. Um, it was pretty pretty ugly in, in towards the end, which was which was sad. And and then I found out my wife was pregnant, and I was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, it depends yeah. how you look at it. Triple obviously, whammy. triple whammy. Triple whammy, man. Yeah, it, bang, was, bang, it was just bang. a lot of a lot of change, like a big a lot of stress. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was a lot yeah, of stress. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're freaking out quite a bit, and um, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. And um, so yeah, mm-hmm. I had to kind of pick myself back up, and uh, I was fortunate enough to yeah, me and uh, me and a good friend of mine, we started my I started my own kind of building business, and so that, that was the business beforehand as well. You've always been in the building construction. Oh yeah, so um, while I was playing twenties, uh, I don't know if you remember, like, but they were really forced you to kind of have a backup plan. And yeah, you wouldn't. My, you weren't allowed to play if you had nah. a job oh, or study. That wasn't enforced yeah. by the time I got there. But oh anyway, really? Nah. Well, I was enforced when I was there. It was yeah. pretty, they were pretty strict on it, and I decided to do carpentry as yep. my. Uh, the they reason must, I, they must have just given up on you, eh? When you were mate, I was unemployed, <laughs> just sleeping like eighteen hours a day. It was miserable time. <laughs> really? I swear to God, my my wage was from getting man of the match payments for Southeast and Seagulls playing A grade every week. Really? I got one fifty a week playing that, and a hundred a loss, two hundred a win playing for South Twenties, and we lost every game. So literally, I got one fifty a week for my income. Not about me, about you. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I could beat that. So uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Uh, it's not a competition. We're all, we're all, we're all individuals here. It's all good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's carpentry. so carpentry. Yeah, done my carpentry. So yeah, qualified carpenter, and um, I kind of loved real estate. Dibble dabble in real estate, and that's where the kind of business kind of grew up and grew, grew into. And it's like you know preparing properties for sale and to uh, achieve maximum value for their properties. And mm. that's what I was doing with my past business, and that's what I'm doing now. But I'm kind of saturating the market. I wanted to tailor to all kind of building needs new de- new developments renovations uh prepare to market um what's it turn- called now what's the new one called uh click built click okay. built click anyone built. out there looking for some what do you do <laughs> I, I don't want to be too salesy here, but no, I, was, no. I, was, I want to give you like a floor, you know, opportunity. I was honestly so tuned out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I just had a it's okay. <laughs> it's all the listeners know. Yeah, yeah. the listeners know. Everyone, everyone else knows. knows. Yeah. Everyone else knows yeah. but me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Click, click build. build. Click, click that build. Click, 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 click build. Click me. Yeah. Click on. Go yeah. On. I'll click on. <laughs> and uh, I'm doing my SNC course now, which is kind of uh, my true passion. Like I've always loved fitness and health, and I've actually contacted Jack Jack Milligan. Yeah, um, a little, little Irish. Yeah, a little Irish leprechaun. Um, <laughs> Irish uh, tampon. Yeah. <laughs> so I just kind of shadow him, get get a bit of experience. I'm kind of trying to start putting the fillers out into a few clubs and hope I can be involved in some degree. And oh, is that what you'd love to do? Sort uh, of be that, that yeah, trainer there? Yeah, I'd love You'd be to good at that, man. You'd be uh, really good at that. I feel like I would Good be. energy, good yeah, vibes. That's all you need. That's honestly, yeah. that's all. And you've oh, been there before. Been that there before. before. Yeah, yeah, you would know as well. Like, you know, you boys been involved in the game. Like, when you got someone that's full zero, like, it's not really. Just that, those, those personalities don't match in the regular league. Well, don't get me wrong. You've got to be serious, but sometimes you you have to have a bit of a laugh. And 100%. It's a bit of a roller coaster. You know how to kind of, you know, pick and choose and deal with a lot of personalities. Personality. Like you, you, personality, you yeah. uh, pretty big personalities here. Yeah. Free spirits. Free spirits, yeah. 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 Manifestation. I like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you have Harry Harris when you were at South? Nah, no, nah, I didn't. Oh, I, didn't. Man, I just met him. You just met him? Yeah. He Where? started rolling back into South recently. Oh, really? Yeah, like last week, he's going to come work for us doing rehab stuff. Mate, I've heard, get ready. I've heard great things about Legend. him. Legend. Like, he yeah. seems like a good bloke. Yeah, that's yeah. It. And you know what? When you get to know him better, ask him some stories. Yeah. You should get him on the podcast, actually. He's got some, I, have, some stories. Have, you, have any of you had um, Ronnie Palmer? No. Oh, no stories. Oh, Ronnie biggest legend ever yeah, like yeah, the yeah. best like he's yeah. he's big in like manifestation as well he's a bit, of, he's a bit quirky and um man he's he's all time, all yeah, time. Yeah, he's still, yeah. i'm pretty sure he's still kicking as well i'm pretty sure it's the tigers at the moment still alive or? Still, oh. <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> he's still he's still, man still he's like, i'm pretty sure he's in his 70s and like the way he trains he's trying to go as a 25 year old like it's unbelievable yeah okay. unbelievable love those yeah. guys love you ronnie cougar oh jesus cougar the cougar yes, the the cougar i like that yeah wish i'd be called that when i was older Anyway, <laughs> take, it, yeah, take us back to like, it all, it all, I'm hitting you know, in those waters yeah. at the moment. It, like, it all sort of happened at once for you, like with the end of your career. Obviously, it wasn't quite what you'd expected, mm. and you had a lot of things in your mind you might have thought you left undone. Yeah, it's probably Toby's question. I'm gonna take it off. It's like one of those moments. Like that was probably a big turning point. Like you're probably pretty stuck in that. I was dark. I know. I remember I was checking was in with dark. you a fair few times. Oh, I was yeah. like, mate, I was just like one of those things. Like you know, out of nowhere. You know, didn't expect, didn't probably uh, deserve it. Didn't expect it. Um, how did you get through? What was the process for you to get through those those times and, and keep you know keep positive? You obviously had you got a family to protect. Okay, like, look after you got you know your livelihood, your mental health, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, um, how did you get through all that? What was the process for you? Well, I couldn't really you know beat myself up or sulk about it because I knew I had my my kids to look after. I had my wife who is now pregnant to look after. So. I, 
really had no time to kind of just be down about it all, you know. And um, I keep going back to kind of just believing myself and working hard and I feel like everything will just flow on. And um, the biggest thing for me was like I had to lay out a plan and what that was going to look like. And, you know, it's probably, it probably didn't, it wasn't perfect, but... Um, <laughs> Don't be just fart, it's right. Is that a fart? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to recover from this. <laughs> so that was a serious question too. <laughs> and he's just... You have <laughs> absolutely <laughs> lost me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh that absolutely <laughs> reeks. <laughs> oh, so the pain is peeling off the leather couches, yeah. Oh. Listen, is, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Josh, you're in the middle of a story there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You know what? I thought you were snoring. I didn't know it was Oh, no, no, no. I would never do that. I would never be so rude to do that. Guys, it's been a pleasure. That's oh, a wrap. No, man, I really, you, know, you had to, you had to nah, get a plan. Okay, listen, a plan. I almost just poured out my heart there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's all I can say. I don't think you'd be so loud. Toby, we won't, we won't, we won't pay Toby for this episode, don't worry. Yeah. It's coming to be. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, just... Where were we? Uh, <laughs> you had to get a plan. You got a plan sorted. You, 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 you sat down and you had a plan. Man, to honestly, the plan. Uh, I just, I just had the, I had good people around me as well. Um, <laughs> I did cook. Dan, <laughs> 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 Dan you're fired. Dan, <laughs> memory card. Yeah. Memory card. So now you're tra- laughing. I can't recover. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Man. Next question. We're we'll trying to think of a new question. Next question. Oh my Jeez, god. I'm so sorry. Um, mate, well, anyway, it's, cool to, it's, good, it's really good that you got out of that. I'm really proud of you, mate. No, Honestly, thanks, bro. No, yeah, well, you didn't really ask the question, like, were you stuck in the middle podcast? When yeah, were but you, like, stuck? you were stuck and how you unstuck. You didn't yeah. say any of that. Oh, like, well, that's, <laughs> how, how did that's, stuck in the middle come about? So, well, we're stuck in the middle of the field. We're stuck in the middle of this thing called life. So it's like, you know. Everyone just, out there, you know, they're stuck oh, in what's yeah. happening right now. Are the good, bad, or indifferent? Oh, like, really what like you're going that. through right now is I you're like stuck that. in the middle of it, you know? And, and how, long yeah. take, how long did it take you two to figure that out? It took me about a day. Yeah. <laughs> about a solid day. Yeah. yeah. It was Toby's idea for the name. It was my idea. It was your idea for the name, yeah. Yeah. Well, because nice. I thought about, like, I don't know why it came to me. I think I was listening to the song Stuck in the Middle. Stuck in the Middle with and you. And then we're in the middle. And then, like, my, my twist might have been, like, Stuck in the Middle, right? But it was yeah. his idea. I got off his idea. Yeah. You got a few creative ideas, young Tobias, Eric. Every now and again. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, crack yeah. that head and one falls out. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Absolute dog shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. What would you ever call your podcast? I feel like you're sort of dissing uh, our name a bit. Um, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm nicknamed Sauce, so probably on Sweet the Sauce. Chili Sauce. On the Sauce? On the Sauce with Sauce? Jeez, that's good. That's <laughs> right. You should start <laughs> really a podcast good. and get Toby on to fart. <laughs> <laughs> I would call it Josh GST Mansour. <laughs> Why is that? Because you're adding GST on everything. How do you know? <laughs> Oh, what? Yeah, you know. Conversation. GST is mentioned in every sentence. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> really? I haven't picked up on that. Me neither. <laughs> Maybe um, tax man. Thanks for jumping in, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. I don't remember asking Dan's opinion, but it's really good you have one. When's, when's Dan getting sacked? He's already been uh, that's, mate. that's three strikes. That's three on this podcast alone. <laughs> yeah. Please, anyone Maybe out there that knows a producer that's anywhere near good enough to operate anything, just please, please help us. Please message us. We'll pay you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Memory card, that comment, and the fart, Dan, that was all just, come on. Just, this fun. has been a snowball affair. This has got this yeah. to us disaster. Your fart has definitely... Um, <laughs> Push us off course. Don't raise your arms. Your pits are absolutely right. going. <laughs> Come meet Bradley. Whoa. <laughs> Liam, a little bit nervous, I bro. I get nervous around your sauce. Yeah, he's pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty well, thick. This is nuts, man. Normally, I'm the one that's sweating bullets, but I'm I'm good today. Lift your arms. Like no. One little bit. <laughs> oh, that is not good. <laughs> Give us a look what we got. Oh! <laughs> Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. <laughs> well, my forehead's good. Your forehead looks wet. I'm, I'm sweet, man. I'm cool, calm, and collected. You'll be and his cool, mixing together. Cool, calm, and collected. Sorry. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Dan's hey, that, was, that was a bit pushed out to by you. That was, that was pushed <laughs> and forced. That was, it didn't slip out. That was, it didn't slip out. <laughs> it was so forced. <laughs> All the oh, hey, you didn't lift your ass in off the couch. You full stuck your ass in that couch. We need to get some aircon in here. It's getting steamy any, and um, stinks of fart. Look, if there's still any any female viewers left after all that, I'm so sorry. We've lost the ball, Buffalo. Oh, yeah. 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 Jesus. Oh, my God. I really, well, how are we going to recover from that? I don't know. Uh, Look, like, how, so what, right, no, I'll go, yep, I've, so rest of the year, you're playing for the Mighty Jets. Yep. To finish off with the grand final, I'm a grand final winner with the Yeah, with I, did, I saw a photo of you winning the grand final. It was, what a finish. Man, crazy shit. Crazy. That was nuts. I'll never play back-to-back games like that. That'll never happen ever again. Um, so, like, is this... 
do you reckon this will be the end of, of the career? Do you reckon you'll go again for Newtown? If another NRL club comes along, would you consider that? Like, what do you think? The second time I got asked that today, to be honest. Like, if, oh. Yeah, another uh, NRL club came knocking, I'd probably give it another crack, I reckon. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, it's good lifestyle. Like, oh, the best. It's not it? bad. <laughs> a lot of time. Yeah, I thought yeah, I had yeah. no time, but n yeah, now, now you realize. being in the position I am in now, I realize there's no time. Mm. But um, yeah, yeah, you do I, carry on a lot. I do carry on a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just cut me off again? No, nah, sorry. I just uh, he does that, man. He does. Yeah. So much. I, I, I like it. No one else does. Yeah, but I don't care. <sighs> it's your podcast. I can say. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, Leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start just like having like a tax on it, like a or like a like a sh like tax a beep. Anyway, yeah, so you, uh, like Josh is trying to talk. You want to just let him finish or not? Yeah, I guess uh, I would love to get another crack. I guess, <laughs> but uh, is the end near? Uh, I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe not. Mm. We'll see how we go. You're so mysterious, bro. I'm very mysterious. <laughs> but I don't know. I just I feel like when I lose the passion, and the motivation, I feel like that will be my my biggest sign that I. But go. you still got it because I remember in the sheds you were still talking. You're the one leading the talk. You're the one actually like you know, sort of going back and forth with the coaches and all sort of stuff. So I guess the passion, the fire is still there to some degree. I'm glad you didn't fight then when I was when I was talking. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would never. No, like, yeah, I'm definitely passionate and I still I still got it in me, but. Yeah, again, I, I don't know what the future holds at the moment, so we'll see. We'll see okay. what happens. Okay. But I do want to win a grand final for Newtown, if that's the question. Mate, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool club. But it it's is. a pretty cool club, yeah. Like outside looking in when I wasn't there, like um, especially in my early days when I was playing for Bears, I, I didn't understand the kind of hype around Newtown, but there's a lot of passionate people around the club. There's a lot of like, a lot of volunteers like Mate, just putting in a lot of effort and so time. so many. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know, we'll see what happens. They never never know, they might come back in the NRL. With in Perth. Game. I don't know. Newtown? Is that, that, that the, yeah, Isn't the, it the Bears? It was well, the Bears. It was now. the Bears. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's obviously in the embryo stage of negotiations, but we'll see embryo. what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Just early, stating. Very early stages. See how we go with that one? Yeah. Maybe with the Jet Bears? Ooh, yeah. Bear Jets? That's pretty the Jetsons. Jetsons. Mm, sorry, the Jetsons. The Jetsons? Just mix it up. Jetsons. 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 Don't remember that? That's the old the TV family? show back in the day. Know. Cardoon. You weren't in the house, bro. You wish you were. Right. <laughs> you live near them, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look what's right. I was more Cheese TV. Channel Cheese TV. Cheese, cheese TV. Cheese TV. Cheese TV. <laughs> yeah, don't know the rest. That was, um, that was all there was. I'm pretty sure to it. Uh, I was going through to see uh, if we have any would you rathers from our beautiful fans out there. I don't think we do, but. <laughs> I want to go back a little bit to when, <laughs> you, have any? when you were on tour. You are Australian tour. Was that World Cup tour? Which one? Which one? Sorry, it's too many to remember. Oh, no. How many tours were you on? No, no, no Australian um, World Tour, World Cup tour. Uh, the 2017 one? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? Any, any stories come out of that camp? What was going on in there? I've heard um, some pretty wild stories come out from tour. Anyone, any ones that you can tell on uh, on air? Well, I can't really say any on air, to be okay. honest. You okay. know. What about, actually, what about I, Lebanon I, I, last I year when there was a thief? I couldn't, I couldn't eat properly for three weeks after it. Like, my bowels were pretty much eroded from inside. Like really? I was so inflamed. It was, but like I was at EMU for pretty much most of that tour and like all you do is drink. And oh, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. But it was, yeah, it was I heard fun. about that. What about, I want to hear about... A Lebanon tour? <laughs> yeah, the Lebanon tour when there was thieves? You would ask that. If that, oh, that was random. There uh, was thieves in the hotel? Just got off the massage table, which I was spewing about. Just got off the massage table, went upstairs to my room to get um, showered off. And then I come down and it was just crazy. Like it's like a, yeah, I could, couldn't make sense of it all. This guy was high and ice. Um, Bit of just, context. Wait, I was like, when they were in, they were in the World well, Cup did, last year right. for Lebanon. Yeah, give us some context. Okay, so um, the Thursday. What? Uh, you, you tell the you tell the story. Yeah, no, you, just, you tell I'm, the story. I'm waiting for you to talk. No, you tell the story. I'm just waiting for you to talk. <laughs> All right, so Thursday we got robbed. <laughs> yeah. um, I was one of the first to wake up. Went downstairs to the team room, and oh, I'm, no, the, sorry, go on. I noticed the the coaches having a pretty important meeting. I was and I'm looking around the room. The whole room was ransacked. Like it was nothing in the room. Mm. And I go, "Is everything all right?" And they're like, "Oh." Yeah, we're trying to figure out the same thing. Like, we look like we got robbed. It's not mm. random shit, eh? They stopped, man, everything. The jerseys were meant to play in. Um, the medical equipment, all the Norma techs, um, everything was gone. Yeah. Everything was gone. And uh, no one could make sense of it all. And then we had um, a message from, do you remember Corey Patterson, back rower? Played for Para, North Queens, and uh, I think yeah. Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, finished his career over there, retired there, and is working in construction. Uh, he played with uh, played a bit with Mitch Moses, and he just uh, Mitch asked Mitch. He goes, um, "Hey man, I'm just jumped on uh, on the site." He goes, "Did you guys lose any um, like Lebanon gear? Did you guys get robbed or anything or something like that?" Mm. And Mitch is like, "Yeah, yeah, we did. Like, where, where can we get you? Where can we find you?" Mm. It was five minutes down the road, the job site, and pretty much all us, the majority of our stuff was there, um, but. Like most of the expensive stuff, like the laptops, medical stuff, were, were gone. But at least mm. we got our jerseys back, and yeah, right. um, yeah, we we're able to play in them two days later, which is cool. Anyway, the captain's drum. Yeah. Um, on the Saturday night, uh, everyone's getting massaged, guys playing cards in the team room, whatever. Um, and then a guy just pretty much stormed in the room, 
like wasn't expecting anyone to be in there. I don't know why. And then just like looked around like off his head and mm. just gunned it for the emergency exit. Mm. And then someone just screamed up, that's the robber. Yeah. 15 Lebos, jump up. <laughs> 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 just start chasing this guy middle yeah. of Saturday night, Manchester. Standard. Yeah. Bars are like packed and the clubs are packed. People, and you got all the CCTV footage. You see this one guy running. Then you just see this 15. Oh, I have seen that. Yeah. 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 Chasing yeah. him. Yeah. Anyway, none of the boys, um, they just tackled, someone tackled him, brought him back to the hotel and mm. the cops took over from there. And, he actually, he actually wanted to go to the toilet. So one of the boys let him go to the toilet mm. and he locked a cubicle and he was trying to escape through the ceiling. Okay, so it, it was, was very like, high. It nice. was very high. Yeah. And uh, they tackled him again and anyway, tried to find other stuff out but we couldn't get anything back. Wow. But it was pretty random. That pretty does random. sound super Picked random. Picked the wrong team to rob. Definitely. <laughs> boys were ready. Definitely. The boys were definitely We've ready. We've been training for that for years. Yes, yes, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got a Thanks. couple of uh, would you rathers here. So... Um, not too many, but enough. Let me see if this is any good. I haven't read any of them pre previously. So, would you rather score a winning field goal slash try or save a try from being scored to win the game? Fuck, it's pretty shit. I think I'll probably <laughs> want to score the winning try and field goal. Yeah, I think so too. I yeah, think everyone yeah. would yeah. want to do that. Yeah, um, Holes, Jack Goodall. Thanks for that sick would you rather. That was so sick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is from... Uh, Matty A, official Muda Moots. Oh, I love this man, actually. I know this guy. Oh, okay. Would you rather be a big fish in the boneyard or a little fish in the main wing? Uh, you know what we're talking about here? Yeah, yeah. Um, probably, uh, I don't know how to answer that. Little fish? Yeah, you don't want to be in the boneyard. No. There you go, yeah. yeah, yeah. Little fish. <laughs> big fish in the boneyard is no good. Um, what else we got? Oh, Dan McCurick had to a story. And you clapped. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Could have said it in the would you yeah. rather, but... Uh, we actually fired you enough time, so... You're still fired, so. mate. Thank you, love. <clears throat> You're still fired. That one's already been said. Uh, oh, I lo one we brought up last week, I'll say it again. Would you rather sit and listen to a podcast with Liam Knight or watch your family die a slow, painful death? <laughs> I know the answer. <laughs> yeah. Kyle McLean, always a good one. That's very good. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Go jump off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it was good shit. Um, Would you rather kiss Toby Rudolph or Conor McGregor on the mouth? John Lebowski, love that, man. That's really good. <laughs> Toby's just ready if you want to kiss I'm him. I'm ready, bro. Give him a kiss. I'll kiss Conor McGregor. <laughs> okay, good choice. Good More choice. Cash. Fair More enough. 100%. So fair. So, so fair. <laughs> no, probably, I think... Um, he probably, he probably dropped me, but yeah. It's all yeah, good. definitely. There's no other would you rather. So I think... Um, that is awesome. Mr. Mansour, thank you so much are for you, coming on, my friend. Are you playing with me? To, are you playing uh, Cup this week? I have not been told anything, so I have no idea. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a good side. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, he told me that like that the plan was Jets and then Grade Thursday, but yeah, beautiful. I've heard nothing to confirm it was a nice such thing. So yeah. might see you Saturday, might not. See so yeah. we go. Awesome. Um, yeah. Hopefully you're not playing and we don't get smashed again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Common <laughs> denominator. <laughs> denominator. <laughs> nah. Sorry, Newtown. Okay. Sorry, Newtown. Okay. Didn't mean it. Uh, uh, but yeah, my friend, thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks, thanks for you. having me, boys. I really appreciate time, it. Brother. It's beautiful yeah. to see your face in the flesh. Wouldn't want to do anything else at this time. Yeah. Love you. Have fun getting home and peek out. Love your work. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, follow, uh, Stuck in the Middle podcast. Um, awesome chat here with the boys, Toby, Nighty. Check it, check it out. Uh, man, lots to us, guys. Give us a share. Give us some love. Thank you very much. We've got to finish on Josh's anyway. Yeah, we're we'll finishing on me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start sharing, bro. We're going to share. It's better. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace.